Our third and final stop on the autumnal spirits train, Mythology Distillery. Well, this small but mighty team brought us into their warehouse to show us behind the scenes from barrel to bottle. Well, here's part one of autumnal spirits mythology with Danny and photographer slash taste tester, Adam Evans. Uh, we were on a backcountry ski trip in Alaska and we came up with this idea of starting our own distillery that's, that's reflective of, of just kind of that lifestyle of uh, enjoying sharing stories over a good glass of whiskey or cocktails. What we do um, that's unique um, is trying to take different whiskeys from all over the country, different ages, different mash bills, um, different distilleries and combine them in new and interesting ways. It's going through uh, in trying to combine um, really complementing and importantly like contrasting flavors the same way that you might combine like sweet and salty uh, or sweet and sour that kind of idea. There's a lot of really cool fruity, pestery notes in there. Um, caramel, spicy. Uh, it's just a, a big, interesting whiskey. As a whiskey sits in a barrel, the proof varies, really depending on its like local or hyper-local environment that it's in. Uh, sometimes that proof will go down, sometimes it'll go up. And in this one in particular, um, it went up a bunch. We got really excited for this time of year. This time of year is when a lot of different special whiskey releases come out. We just released a Tempranillo finished uh, whiskey blend. Uh, so we created a blend, high rye blend. Uh, we finished it in Tempranillo wine barrels for about 10 months. Picked up those big pepper and fig notes. Uh, so I think for fall, like just that big body, you know, uh, big fruit kind of flavors. We released a Syrah finished whiskey, which is something we release each year. Again, similar. We create a blend, we finish it in Syrah wine barrels. That has more like big blackberry fruit uh, to it. So really delicious. I think those type of flavors just really go well with fall. Uh, sitting down, it's colder out. You're drinking something that uh, has these big cinnamon notes, vanilla notes, caramel notes. And stick around for part two of our interview with Mythology as Adam and Danny taste that 140 proof whiskey along with some other Mythology favorites. And remember to please drink responsibly. Welcome back, everyone. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing how Danny and Adam react to that 140 proof whiskey tasting. Well, the whiskey has been aging for 10 years, and Danny told me that you can taste it in the final product. We'll take a look. All right, we are finishing off our uh, series in terms of our autumnal spirits here at Mythology, and we are so excited to try some stuff. But I have to say, you guys, instead of making us a cocktail, you kind of have a different idea, right? Uh, yeah, so uh, today we're going to be tasting something pretty special. Uh, this is a 10-year rye release from us. Um, we're whiskey blenders at Mythology, so, uh, but every now and again we come across things that are just too special yeah. to blend, and so this is one of those things. So we're going to share it with our fans, um, just bottled at Cast Strike as a single barrel release here at the tasting room. Awesome, thank you. So is this what we just saw then at the uh, barrel room? Exactly. Okay, yeah. great. So this is a 10-year rye. Uh, bottle that cast strength. This actually came out to 140 proof, um, so much higher proof than we normally do wow. here at Mythology, which is really interesting and cool. Yeah. Um, you're going to get a lot of bright fruit characteristics out of this. You're going to get a lot of like dark oak from this. Okay. Um, it's just a really like big, deep whiskey. And then again, 140 proof. We're pouring it neat. Um, we're not going to tell you how to drink whiskey at Mythology. <laughs> um, if you want to proof it down at home, you can add some water, you can add an ice cube, but for the sake of argument here, we're going to pour it neat so that you can really experience what it's like to taste straight from the barrel. The whiskey okay. itself. Yeah. yeah. Great. All right. Cheers. What do we think? Let's do it. <laughs> So for 140, it doesn't have as much heat as you would expect. That's nuts. Yeah. You would think that's just gonna, you know, set your head on fire. Exactly, yeah. But you can still, again, you can feel it a little bit in your chest, but you definitely aren't getting the, the full blown, oh my gosh, my whole body is on fire. Pretty, it's very smooth too. <laughs> what do you guys think? Have you tasted it yet? Yeah, we have. I guess we should probably. You should join yeah, us, yeah, yes. Yeah, come, please, by all means. <laughs> 
Because, yeah, like you said, for 140, it, it, you would not think that. It's very no. smooth, very drinkable. And I like, you can kind of taste, it's like sweet on the front end. Like my yeah. tongue, you can taste the sweet. Yeah, you're going to get a nice interplay of, I'd say, like sweet and spicy. Yeah. You know, rye whiskeys in general are going to be a lot on the spicier side compared yeah. to a bourbon, which is going to be sweeter. Um, but the 10 year really adds some sweetness to it, which is really cool. Cool. Yeah. All right, what else have we got here today, guys? You got a couple more to try, I think, right? Yeah, so kind of a <laughs> spin on uh, on this rye whiskey. So this 10-year, as we dumped it, you know, it's special, it's a single barrel. But then as whiskey blenders, we're taking the rest of the lot of the 10-year rye that we have and we're blending them. Uh, there'll be eight different batches that will be released over the next 18 months. Awesome. This is batch one, Ooh. also available. Um, around uh, Thanksgiving uh, throughout Colorado. Awesome. Uh, this one, so each batch we want to be a little bit different. So we're tasting through each barrel. This was an eight barrel blend. Wow. Uh, we blended those barrels together to create this, to have a unique tasting profile so that each batch is a little bit different. All right, cool. let's All try right. it then. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> uh, <let's see> <laughs> Okay. I really like that a lot. Definitely different from the other. Yeah, but I can taste more of like the cinnamon almost on the front mm -hmm. of my tongue, which I really like. And yes, it's not as, it's definitely not as hot. We were talking about how the sure. other one wasn't as hot for, you know, what it was. Yeah. But this obviously is not as hot, but you can still feel the warmth on the back of your throat. You know, a little bit of like orange peel maybe. It's like kind of citrusy oh, yeah. in a way. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. You get that citrus. Um, I get a little bit of mint. I don't know if it'll come to you, but <clears throat> after a minute, it kind of feels like just like cocoa, uh, kind of on the yeah. finish, like a little bit of chocolate though. It's very fitting. Wow, this is really nice. I, I it's am another good one. the cocoa now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's yeah. nice. Yeah, this is another good one. Oh my goodness. Two for two so far. Two cool. for two, yeah. Can you, can you make it three for three? What how else we, how we got? We finish <laughs> off. Um, okay, so. We're really well known for finishing at Mythology. Uh, and what we mean by finishing is we are taking our blended whiskeys and then finishing them in different types of barrels. So this one we have for you guys today is the Tempranillo barrel. Uh, so Tempranillo is a full bodied Spanish wine. You're typically gonna get notes of figs and cedar, maybe some tobacco. Um, those notes play really well with our American whiskey, which is what it's finished in. Uh, our American whiskey is called Hellbear. It is a blend of a rye and bourbon, so pretty cool. I like to think of it almost like a rye drinker's bourbon or like a bourbon drinker's rye, like however you want to say okay. it. Okay, yeah, But sure. pretty unique spirit. Okay. Right. One more. One cheers. more cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers, 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 cheers. Cheers, cheers, cheers. cheers. <laughs> All right. Wow. Just another very unique, you know, each of them has their own kind of profiles that yes. you're like, very different. In yeah, because this I'm getting more like honey and vanilla right off the front. I'm um, gonna need to have another taste to find out. <laughs> oh no, Adam has to have another taste. A lot of dark fruit characteristics. Yeah. Are really nice. And then just mm -hmm. hints of those like figs and tobacco. I think. Definitely. Yes. Like, lovely. Also at 105 proof, but you don't get a lot of proof, especially after tasting some of these other ones. I do yeah. love like some earthiness in my whiskey. It's sure. just like, yeah. You know, you know, that's how you know it's it's good. It's good for you. This is beautiful. It's good for you. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> well, guys, I think that's three for three, guys. Yeah, I think so too. Thank you all Thank so you. much for helping us finish off our series. Happy autumn. Yeah. Happy autumn. <laughs> happy autumn. Yes, happy autumn indeed. Looks like Danny and Adam had a good time out there. And Mythology, by the way, is working on their moving their entire production facility to Steamboat right now. And they hope to have their full Mythology campus open by the summer. Try out their tasting room anytime. That's right here in the Denver Highlands. And that does it for our Autumnal Spirits series. To find our stories on the other distilleries they featured, head to coloradoandco.com. And of course, remember to always drink responsibly.